last time they've played in like a big tournament. And yeah, I mean, yeah, KD3, Finio, not super active. Can, KD3 getting knocked out by Beef early. I know he did not expect that. Um, I don't know the last time KD3 got knocked into losers that early in, in a tournament. So I wonder what it's doing to his mentality right now. Yeah, it's tough, but, you know, this is a guy with a ton of competitive experience. And Absolutely. It's not like you win every tournament through winners, so. It's true. It's very true. Uh, uh. Thinking about the puff. He did uh, apparently wow. use the puff to great success against Hotline, but. Nope, going with the Falcon-Pikachu matchup. I really enjoy this matchup. So are we seeing... Who's who, though? Yeah, I think the names are swapped. Yeah, you gotta switch the names. I'm gonna assume the names are swapped, but the cameras are right. So Pikachu yeah. is going to be here. Finio and... Um, yeah, KD3, KD3 Falcon. Finio, yeah, KD3 uh, Falcon. Oh, wow, he gets back on stage somehow. It's gonna be a tough recovery, though. Yeah, the drift back, there's only so much you can really yeah, do in this matchup. Finio and they're using those look down like, angle uh, forward tilts. Look like bread and butter for Finio there. Oh, oh, and he wow. runs right into his loving arms. But it's so difficult to edge guard at that 0%, especially against a guy like KD3. And look at this combo. Oh, Finds that up air off the stuff. ground. Instant fastball nair, run up, jump nair, or jump up air into the up B. Yeah, no, that was that was a nice mix up to uh, ensure that he would take the stock there. KD3 definitely, uh, definitely like a oh, master the drift of back was so important there. mix ups for Falcon. Just goes for the back air. I wonder if he thought he would be able to get something like a, a second back air into an oh, up air. Oh, and there's the down air into an up air. And, oh, I thought he would have went for an up B there. Uh, not quite killing off the top. Gets, yeah, someone gets two up airs out of it. And Finio getting the edge cancel off the top and able to make a problem for a KD3 here. Oh, wow. KD3 just knew he would fall off that flat and just did it so quickly. Yeah, very calm play from KD3. I feel like he's like got he's such focused. a level head. Yeah, KD3 is really focused right now. Not making the same kind of uh, input errors that he was against Beef. Okay, that up air will work, but that's about it. Yeah, he, he's not gonna. He's KD3 is gonna have to be careful around the ledge, cause yeah, Finio is gonna be going for those grabs just to get the uh, Falcon off stage. See, like, see, this is dangerous. It's for dangerous, and this one percent difference ledge. is so important. Finio on that ledge at 99 percent, so much scarier than at 100, because oh, he has those point. extra ledge options. Good point, right? And the falling fair will hit him, but no follow. -up. Nah, yeah, it's gonna be a tough recovery. Nice tech KD. chase. Throws the uh, neutral B a little low. It is. So Finio takes a small lead here. Let's see if he could get some damage. Maybe even a grab at the ledge again. Yeah, it's very scary. Like as Falcon, like oh, finds the up there air. There it is. This what could be I huge. Saying? Just runs out with the yeah, yeah runs out with the nair in the trade. We'll KD3 do it. Three needs to stop going to the edge. It has just hurt him time and time again. To stay in the middle of the stage. All right, so there's nice an up B on up shield. Yeah. That'll do it. And, and that's tricky, oh, right? Gets grabbed again at the edge. Oh, that down angle Ooh. forward tilt barely missed. Nice recovery, what a recovery from KD, but he just keeps getting grabbed again and again at the ledge. Back air into down air, and Finio takes game one. Wow, that was really, really solid from Finio. I felt like uh, he just like had so many good reads on KD3's approach. Well, and that's it was, all it takes it was, to win the matchup, he was, too. Every time Finio was on the ledge, it seemed like he hit KD3, and it led into a grab. And from there, it's just simple edge guarding, and Finio is really good at it. And KD3 deciding that's not the matchup he wants to go with, switching to the Jigglypuff. I know these guys have played this matchup quite a lot over the years. It's been a resource that, you know, KD3 has pulled out when he's seeing Desperate Times. I think it is one of his best characters. Yeah, now his buff is very dangerous. You know, he does Pikachu Ditto from time to time, but... Look at this. Oh, Finio wow. is such a good Pikachu Ditto. He went for the rest and missed. And Wispy Blue as well. Not like it mattered, but... Yeah, difficult way to start this game if you are the Jigglypuff. Yeah, that, that rest hitbox is pretty big, but 
If you miss it, it's a real problem. Okay. Ooh, nice, nice angle from Finio there to get back to that. K3 just wow. not letting him off the ledge. Covering the ledge so well with these down airs. Yeah. Knows the timing of the ledge options that Finio's going for. Yeah, Finio was just trying to get off the ledge too quickly there. And he's below the Ooh, stage now. Not really guard. much you can smart do. Smart edge guarding from Finio. Textbook stuff. Make, made it look easy, really. Yeah. If, uh, but Jigglypuff does has pretty good kill options at this percent. He can go for, like, a back throw near the ledge or even just, like, a forward or down smash. Tried to go for an up tilt there. But Finio di there that forward is. smash will do it, though. So, KD, let's see. KD3 always very, uh, very good at escaping invincibility. Yeah, he's just drifting away. Oh, and here we go, combo throw. with the rest yeah, of them? No, want to PI off stage. yeah, you can't rest when you're down in stock like that. Can rest right there though, and that's gonna do it. I don't think Finio can really punish from there, no he can't. Two no. rolls gets KD3 right out of there. Yeah. And another down air into an up tilt, forward smash misses. These guys are really going at it right now. Finio kind of slowing it down, catches two up airs in the nair. Yeah. Nice call out, and you can see the way KD3 lands. He's so careful about picking the spot that he lands, using his aerial Ooh, drift. Great up he escaped from Finio. Yeah. Oh, there it is, the and up tilt rest. the down air, up tilt rest, and KD3 he could get punished back here, in though. the lead for the first time this set. Good DI from KD3 to get out of there, but that back air will do it. Yeah, trade's not in his favor. But at the same time, 13%, like, you're just happy to have any lead on Pikachu, right? And and I think, honestly, the strength of this matchup for uh, KD3 is um, the just comboing into kill. I feel like uh, yep. a lot of characters, that you know, you, that's, like, Pikachu's strength is that if you don't just kill Pikachu outright, yeah, you can can't really edge back. guard. Exactly. So just picking a character that has a good kill confirmed. It can actually be tricky, though, as Jigglypuff, because... You know, if you can't land those rests, it can be pretty hard to kill oh, Pikachu. Absolutely. The Nair, often not enough. Pikachu can make it back. The Dare, kind of semi-spike, usually not enough to actually kill Pikachu. No, yeah, in this matchup, Puff is so really, really, really all about the rest. rest. Absolutely. You live and die by the rest, this Puff. Yeah. No, I thought and that would have been a rest. tries to find there. it, but no, he hits him on the, the top platform. Back throw. Great use of that Nair to get back on stage by uh, K3. Ooh, Finio could. Oh, wow. He big could've combo, but he is high right up. There. All that height. And he's able to convert it into a ledge grab. Wow, yeah. No jumps Finio. here. Finio no jumps. Showing how strong this up air could No be. jumps. And there it is. A big back air. Finio, is that? He's up 2 0 now. Yeah. Wow, is KD3 going to get 3 0 to knocked out of this tournament? Yeah, KD3 fifth? looking at fifth. And he's gotten two stocked with both of his characters. What yeah. resources what does he, he have left? He does he go to the here? Pikachu Ditto? Does he go back to one of these that he's lost with? I think it's the tri tricky part of playing so many characters. I you think just don't he goes have a consistent back to Falcon. To go. I think he goes back to Falcon and just plays a little smarter. Uh, Maybe thinking, thinking about, about the, the Pikachu well, Ditto. He does it? Red Hat Pika coming out to try to reverse 3-0 Finio here. Yeah, he's got a long way to go for these, in these Pika Dittos, and he can't drop a single game. Yeah, tough position for sure. And, and to yeah, think oh, you know, we did see Finio lose to Hammerheart. It is possible to beat him in the Pikachu That's Ditto. That's true. Good point, Robert. And uh, we have KD3 here adopting the exact same color that uh, Hammerheart just used. Whoa. But Finio... Yeah, Showing the difficulty of that proposition. <laughs> that weak Nair combo into the backer. Such a quick kill, and he took 0% on the first stock. Ooh, couple grabs. Oh, tries the dash attack, but now it's a back throw from KD3. Love that recovery. Simple single zip, knowing that KD3 was trying to hard read a double yeah. zip to top platform and just saying, nope, I'm going to stage. <laughs> Crazy drifts all over the stage here. They're really using the full like jump height and max drift Ooh. up on these characters. KD3 just a little bit too slow to punish Finio there on that platform. 
Oh man, Finio just seems to have his number right now. Yeah, they're trading percentage back and forth here, and that's just like when you're stock down, that's not what oh, you want to do. Good read from Finio with that Nair. That's gonna take that stock. Now it's five to three. Could be KD3's last three stocks of this tournament here if he doesn't turn something around quick. And these recoveries from Finio have been so good. Yeah, KD3. No way you KD3 just that. can't edge guard him. He keeps he keeps trying to edge guard high and just giving Finio the ledge. I'm not sure what he's thinking with that. Well, it's tough because Finio's positioning himself in these ways where he has such an easy zip to top platform that KD3 probably feels forced to cover it. But Finio just waits and identifies what KD3 is trying to cover and go somewhere there. else. That right, was a so good KD3 right slowly starting to get some momentum back here. Oh, oh the crouch, crouch in the corner. <laughs> just waiting for uh, Finio to There's move. There's a grab. There's another grab. Oh, Finio's on ledge, though. What's KD3 going to do? A couple up tilts, a couple back airs. He does hit a back air. The percent uh -oh. is high enough that he can go for that up air from ledge. Wow. And we completely Finio. turn the situation around. Gets oh. the jabs on shield, converts into the grab. And Finio just tacking on damage, oh, building his lead. Down air. Oh, KD. Just jumps off, tries to land a nair, but misses. Here's his up tilt. But yeah, that must have been some decent DI from Finio to automatically land on the flat there. Finio doing so well, chasing KD3 into the corner, waiting out that runoff back air. Yeah, no, Finio is and not. And immediately punishing. Finio is not making mistakes, man. He is not overextending. He knows what space he can keep. He knows his approaches have been pretty good. And look at this. Uh, wait. Wow, back air into an up smash into two up airs into a grab. And that's 60% just off that. Yeah, and so now we're damage. at 69 with another up air. Nice. Here it is, a grab. Fair, to do it. Fair on the side plat and converts KD3's right into the jab grab and he's down four stock. stocks to one. If KD3 brings this back now, I see he's going to win the whole set. But yeah, this, this is, could be KD3 at fifth. Yeah, this is climbing basically Mount Everest right here. Finds the up tilt in the back air. It's not going to do it, though. He needs this edge. Okay, hogs the ledge. Hogs okay, the ledge. okay, very smart. All right, Gets so that stock three, out of there. Three to one. Three, three to, to one. one is possible, but man, this matchup. He's going to have to be so careful to not take too much damage here. It's a grab. Okay, Good tech chase. Grab. Yeah. Building some percent. Oh. All right, way to get out, way to get really out. really cannot get hit. Okay. He's gonna need maybe a nice edge guard. There's that back air. Yeah, building up the percentage really quickly here. Oh, wow, that ledge cancel. What a beautiful ledge cancel from Finio. And at all times, when he's starting to lose momentum, now he's gonna reset neutral here. Did exactly what he had to do. Oh, but that oh, there, just all right. barely off. Two and stocks, that is a stock gone. Two stocks gone. from KD3 now. It's getting real spicy now. Without yes. taking any damage. Ooh. That smash. Not what right. he wanted, but that 39%? a little bit for Finio. Oh, oh that up here oh, call out. Oh, wow. Immediately turned around by KD3. Wow, KD3. But this is still Putting. so difficult. But he is, he is. Calls him out really again. What a he combo, and really, it's last stock. He is really turning this around, putting it into high gear now. Yeah. This is four stocks to one a minute ago. Yeah, he took three stocks in a row and only took 47%. But just as I say that, he takes a couple more hits. Oh, that Caleb Angle. Caleb Angle, but he missed Pulling it. out all the stops here for now this KD3. percent Finio hits him with an up air. Another the second up, up air. air. How do you find that? And there's that back air, and I think that's going to do it. Oh, no, he gets him back Finio on stage. You couldn't tell. On stage. That up beat a left, oh, but he gets jab grabbed. He gets jab grabbed, <laughs> and Finio finishes it. Almost a valiant comeback from KD3, but his tournament's now done, getting 3 0'd by Finio. What a Wow, set. what a way to go out. I couldn't have called that if you would have. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, he almost made that, that comeback. Wow. KD3 has to be upset, and you know he is. He's got to hold that. He's out at fifth. Out at fifth on Keystone. Wow, that is tough. Yeah, after, I mean, KD3 was riding quite the wave coming into this tournament, so I know he was really trying to win this one. But well, for yeah, sure, yeah, just one Apex can't not that win long them all. ago. Beef, Beef uh, beat him, Finio beat him, and I think, yeah, Pikas. Yeah, he got beat down by two Pikas. 
Yeah, man. I mean, what you could you could sense. tell he's really.